Hi, I'm Laura Verley, and I inspire advisors to kill it online through social media and offline through relationship management. In today's episode, I will give you a guided tour of the Sales Navigator homepage, where you will easily see how you can stay up to date with the companies and the clients and prospects that you're most interested in. So let's get started. Sales Navigator allows you to use LinkedIn in a much more intuitive way. Once you've completed your initial setup, you are ready to get laser focused. As a quick sidebar, if you need to adjust your sales preferences at any time, you can click on the tiny picture of yourself in the upper right-hand corner. And then you're going to click on (laughs) settings. And from there, you can make adjustments to your preferences. Let's say, for example, I wanted to expand my region to include Miami. All I need to do is go over here, type in Miami, and I add it. Let's say I'm also expanding to Chicago as well. I can just simply type in Chicago, click on the add, and now those two have been included in my region. So once I'm done with that, I can then start with my very first step with account setup. So the very first step you'll want to perform after your account has been set up is to save first degree connections as leads. LinkedIn uses the term lead for anyone that you have an interest in staying in front of, whether it be a client or a prospect or even a third degree connection or beyond. Therefore, it is recommended that you save all your A-list clients. And the reason being is that you will want to know if they are mentioned in the news, have a change in job positions, if their company is downsizing or growing. This is the easiest way to keep your finger on the pulse of your clients without getting bogged down with other news and information about LinkedIn connections you don't necessarily want and or need to know about. So let's say, for example, I have a network of 500 people. And out of those 500 people, there's only 50 I really want to keep my eye on. Those 50 individuals are ones I would save as leads. So let's begin. You would click on the magnifying glass on the upper toolbar. And what will appear are all of your connections, first, second, and group members. You want to begin by looking only at your first degree connections and saving your most important first degree connections as leads. To view just your list of first degree connections, you're going to X off your group members and you're going to X off your second degree connections. Now you're only looking at your first degree connections. And what you can do from here is create your lead list. When you save an individual as a lead, it will associate that person with a company. In LinkedIn terms, it is also known as an account. Those two terms are used interchangeably, company and account. If the individual only has one company shared on their LinkedIn profile, it will automatically save to that account. However, if there is more than one, LinkedIn will ask which account you would like to associate that lead to. Let me show you how to save leads so you get the idea. Let's say, for example, I go through page one and there's no one on this particular page I want to save. I go to page two and Samir Samal is someone that I would like to save as a lead. All I simply need to do is click on this button right here, save as lead. What will happen is because Samir has many different companies associated with his LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn is asking me which account should I associate Samir to. So I'm going to use Blue Ocean Global Wealth and I'm going to click save. Easy as that. Let's do a couple more so you get the idea. Page three. And I'm going to save Margarita Chang. I click on save as lead. Again, same thing as Samir, Samal. Which one shall I save to? Blue Ocean Global Technology. No, I'm going to save her to Blue Ocean Global Wealth and I'm going to hit save here. Let's just do one more so it sticks. And let's say I want to save Phil Gerbeshack as another lead. Again, I click on save as lead. And you'll notice I did not get a dialog box asking me what account I would like to save him to. That is because Phil only had one account associated with his LinkedIn profile, and that was Actians. If you ever need to review a listing of all your saved leads, they can be found on the top menu under leads, this right here. 
Once you've completed your first degree connections, go through your second degree connections. You can just view your second degree connections the same exact way that I had viewed just my first degree connections. Again, you click on the magnifying glass. When you land there, if I'm just going to look at second degree connections, I'm going to X off first degree and I'm going to X off group members. Perform the same exercise that you had done when you identified your first degree connection with your second degree connections. Here is a huge benefit of Sales Navigator and truly a game changer. Currently with regular LinkedIn, you are only getting access to your immediate network, your first degree connections. But with Sales Navigator, you gain access to second degree connections information as well, such as job changes, mentions in the news, work anniversaries, and more. In addition, if you come across a prospect that is a third degree connection and you save him or her as a lead, when they become a second degree connection, you will be alerted. So now that you have your lead set up and as you continually use LinkedIn and as you find new people and interesting people, you continually save them as leads and your day-to-day -day becomes so much easier with just six clicks. Now that you have saved the individuals that you want to focus on, whether they are clients or prospects, your homepage will be the first place you will want to visit every single day. Your homepage will have all updates displayed in the feed, right here in the middle. However, you may want to look at the updates by lead or by company. You can do so by using the following menu items on the right-hand side. Lead updates is exactly that, updates to your leads. So click on the menu item titled lead updates, and this will display job changes, work anniversaries, if the lead is mentioned in the news, this is a great way to stay on top and in touch with people most important to you, your leads. Lead shares. This is absolutely fabulous. This gives you insight into your leads' interests from articles to updates to articles that they may have published and more. If they happen to publish an article, read it and then send them a message about how much you enjoyed their article mentioning something in particular. Company shares. Whatever updates an account or company, remember LinkedIn uses those two terms interchangeably, shares on LinkedIn will be displayed here. This is only information that that company chooses to share on LinkedIn, which is where we're going next, company news. Any news shared from multiple news sources about companies will be displayed here. This is absolutely fantastic because this is news that is curated from across the web. So if a company is downsizing, it will be mentioned here. If a company is expanding, again, it will be mentioned here. Any news about the company will be displayed under company news. And finally, potential leads. Potential leads will be surfaced and suggested for you based on your preferences from your initial setup. The more you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, the smarter it gets and the more leads it will produce for you. It's as simple as clicking on save as lead to save individuals that are of interest to you. Now let's say we met someone and wanted to add them as a lead. All you simply have to do is go up here to the white search box and type in their name. Here is Serena, I had met her. She is someone I absolutely want to save as a lead because she is someone that I more than likely would like to bring on to my organization and I wanna know what's happening with her. So I save her as a lead. And once I do, I get all kinds of updates and information about her. It is best to get into the habit of visiting your Sales Navigator homepage, reviewing leads and company updates, and acting accordingly. This is how social selling is done. So there you have it. Now you know how to easily stay up to date with your leads through lead updates, lead shares, company updates, company shares, and look at potential prospects that LinkedIn feels are right for you. Be sure to tune into the next Sales Navigator series where we will be taking a deeper dive into account pages. Be sure to subscribe to me so that you're alerted as to when a new video is released and you're always in the know. Thanks for joining.